Legend of Total War here with part 18 of my Rome 2 Legendary Imperator Augustus Let's Play campaign as Armenia. On the last episode, I conquered a few of the eastern territories over here and had a disastrous, probably the worst battle I've ever fought against um, Hordes of the Steppe. Uh, I should have auto-resolved it. Look at my army. This was a full stack, a full professional stack, and they just... It was so fucking close, the battle. I couldn't believe I won... Well, I can't believe I won it, but... Auto resolve wouldn't have yielded such a bad result. They just used their horse archers so efficiently and just destroyed my guys. Basically, they eventually just ran out of ammunition. And also, when I captured the town square, they uh, they sort of came at me in melee. But yeah, they're pretty much fucked. So these guys now. Why did that say unlimited? No, it doesn't matter. Um, their job will be to replace those that were lost. So, we're going to need... An, oh, hang on. Get that and this. Also, I'm at war with Hordes of the Steppe now, and that wasn't even their best army, I, I imagined. They're bound to have another full stack. At least one full stack. Alright, so, hang on, what am I doing? What have we got here? We've got... We need one lot of Eastern Ballista, so there's, there's ten men missing, which should take two turns to recruit. So, one of these. And we need... We need six of that knights. There were only five in that army, but um, essentially the Azat knights didn't do very much at all. I couldn't fucking catch them. They're goddamn horse archer armies. See, my armies that I'm building are going to be effective, or as effective as possible against Rome. I'm not building armies that are going to be terribly effective against hordes of the steppe because there's not really that much to deal with. So they're not my major enemy. Yes, I'm going to have a harder time dealing with them with this kind of army, but once it's done, then I won't have to reform my armies after, right after. So I think in the long run, this will be a bit less taxing on me. Ah, right, and I haven't done this yet, and this needs to get done. This is taking out a full Paradine army. Now they've got loads of horse skirmishers, but because they're inside of a city, you've seen them, they're not very effective inside of a city. So, I'm not worried at this, about this at all. We'll take the city and occupy it. And, um, they don't have much left. We've run down and killed the majority of their forces. Alright then. There really shouldn't be anything to worry about. We've already done plenty of these kinds of battles. Try to be somewhat efficient with my infantry. Some of them are a little bit diminished from the previous fights. But the Azat Knights are in good shape. Alright, I'd like you guys, no, not explosive, flammable rounds, to blow up this general section around here. Now, I've put them at an angle like this in the hope that if they miss this section, that they might hit other sections. See, that's exactly what I was hoping for. See, 30% damage on this one, but we've also got 12% extra damage on this here, which I'd like to destroy next. So this is where you can sort of play the inaccuracy in your favor a little bit. Come on, blow it up right now, right now! Fucking do it now! Son of a bitch! Oh, God damn it! Just one more shot would have done it. Oh, there you go. Still, I don't think we killed as many as we could have. It doesn't really matter. Maybe blow this section up here. Letters. I don't think that's going to be overly necessary. Yeah, 
Yeah, whatever. We don't really need to rely too much on the artillery in this one. Actually, now that I look at it, aim right there. With explosive rounds. Could possibly get a ton of kills. It's not really the best angle to be shooting at for this. But whatever. Oh, hang on, they're coming back up this way. The walls are breached. I'll blow the section up. We've got Eastern Slingers up here. <laughs> and this one as well. Come on, blow it up. The walls are Excellent. Breached. Good job. You guys have killed heaps. The walls are breached. All right, that'll do. Let's go. These towers do jack shit damage to my guys here. Now, of course, if they get into the red, they need to move out of the fight. Red being, you know, something like forty men left. As well, get in here. It seems to be going well so far. But this is, of course, the easy shit. We've still got all the um, horse skirmishes to deal with. Plus, there's a lot of them up on the walls. Okay, you guys, cavalry, you're not going to be of much use against those guys up on the walls, but you guys, go take them on. Also, if we can take these towers, they'll assist a little bit, but it's not really big enough to make a difference. I also think that the uh, towers have been nerfed a little bit. Yeah, so we're just going to come over here and neutralize these towers, just for the fucking sake of it. Now, we're just going to send one guy up on the wall, because whenever you send more than one, they just seem to get fucking stuck. Damage, get on with it. There's another tower over here we can possibly go take. <laughs> These guys are fucking skirmishing up on the walls. Okay, so they've got a lot of eastern spearmen over here. Can't just go barge right through that. Even though I'd like to. I want to separate these into two groups, but not just yet. Yeah, get off the walls, there's nothing up here that you need to fight. Spearmen over here, but they'll likely redirect their efforts once we start getting close to the town square. You stay behind and fight them. 
What's this? Bactrian Light Horse. Yeah, not really a big deal. I mean, these are good units, but not against Spear Nobles. Get rid of them. They likely to kill some of their own units here and there, but that's okay. Well, it's good, but uh, whatever. Come on, shatter them. Get over here. Taking too many casualties. Alright, move up this way. need these Eastern Spearmen redirected over here. These guys are taking a lot of damage. Eastern Spear Bastards, whatever. Alright, whatever, just get into the fight. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Come around this side. Because that's where they're all going. Let's cut them off. Fucking cowards. What are your orders? What's going on here? Oh, you really shouldn't be fighting these Eastern Spearmen, but you haven't taken any or much damage yet. But push through. Okay, I want you coming in here as well. Could be of some use. Taking some damage over here. You're taking damage as well. Shit. Get over there into the fucking fight. Didn't realize you were just still standing there. The battle is turning in our favor. Well, that's good. We only need to win this, and they're all dead. And additional experience seems to be coming in handy as well. They're kicking some ass. Yeah, that's really fucking clever there. Well done, idiots. Get them. Sons of bitches. Holy shit, why is that not to get shot to crap? Yeah, if I could fight them right at the gate there. You, you're in the red, you need to stay out of the fight. General is under attack. Okay, well, we've taken the town square. Or the, uh, what's it called? It? The um, victory point. So we only have to last a few more minutes. Come on, get out of here. To get back over here. You two stand there. If you're going to soak up damage, let it be you, because you've taken nearly none so far. Now, what happened to them? Oh, they're all breaking. So the battle should be pretty much over then. I can't wait until these eastern fuckers are dead. 
such a pain in the ass to fight. Okay, they're broken. Uh, do not chase them out back that way. What are you being shot at by? Oh, towers. Were you never in the fucking fight? Or did I leave you behind? No, well, it doesn't matter. The enemy fort will soon be ours. Well, where's their other units? Oh, they're over here. Or well, whatever. Well, the battle could have gone better, but we'll have plenty of time to recover. Good. Everything's left just how I left it. If I looted the settlement, I'd make quite a lot of money. No, I don't need money. Just we keep it stable. Okay, so we're at the fifth level of Imperium now. That's a bit of a problem. We're going to start to get possibility of civil war. No chance of it yet. So, Imperium level five. Plus two influence per turn for your uh, political party, that's good I guess. Extra corruption, whatever. Actually my money is actually very good. Getting a lot from here. Okay, so once these guys are fit and recovered, they'll be heading up north. We'll get rid of Dahe. Those are going to be missile cavalry type armies as well, that's gonna suck. Do what we can. Maybe I should send these guys up there as backup. I don't think we need you. You can... you can go. Let me just check here. Yeah, you can go. You come into this province and do that. Good, that's sorting it out. Now, you'll be coming over here, that'll finish off Drangiana, well they've still got an, armor, uh, an army, and you will come into the east here. Maybe you might actually be of better use down here, because they're likely to have trained another full stack by the time we get there. Alright, let's have a look at things. Do this for me, good. It's fixing the public order or a large deal. Need you to keep an eye on anything that's going on over here. Yep, unrelenting force sounds awesome. And now let's check the provinces. So I've still got plenty of money. So that's good. Increases public order, which is... That's zero. Well, it's at 100, but the growth is at zero. So let's get that. Don't really have much more money left. Build the tax office first, because the public order is under control. At Amul, we need this. See if there's any more blank spots anywhere. No, good. So I'm likely to make 12,000. And I don't see any potential attacks likely to happen. This still fucking annoys me. How badly I did. It's just a testament to either how much improved the AI is with patch 15. Or simply a testament to the fact that I just don't jack shit about eastern factions and how to use them. Or necessarily how to fight nomads. I mean, I've always sort of struggled against horse archer armies. Even though I'm actually good at using horse archer armies, but whatever. Um, this region's making no money, so don't tax it. 
Uh, diplomacy, I'm steadfast. Are we going to be able welcome, to get trade agreements? Welcome, my... Useless shit. Dahe. Are you brave? Nope. These guys aren't gonna be too happy with. Oh, hang on. No. I am. Come, my friend. Oh, hang on. This is. We looks are right. men of words, and so serve our peoples. <laughs> they always end up paying lots for trade. Um. Yeah, just for trade. I will be a patient audience for your speech. Sure that you come to deliver a profitable message. Try and get it just right. There we go. We have good reason to. Yes, you do have good reason to accept such terms. How much money am I likely to make making from you? Yeah, fair amount, and uh, they're not really on the agenda to attack just yet. And that significantly increased my income, not to mention the um, quick influx of cash. Okay, so once again, let's go through the settlements and try and spend it. Reinvest into my territories, I think, is a good idea. Persepolis, they could use extra public order, but then this provides public order and money. Let's see what else there is. Yeah, public order does kind of need to be prioritized. What else is there? Oh, you can still get that one as well. Yeah, we'll be fine. So, minus two public order. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. Also, I can get more agents now, so that's good. I can get myself another dignitary, which will um, reduce my upkeep costs of one of my full stack armies. Of which, at the moment, I have th uh, three and a half. Might actually be a, an idea to see if I can get a peace treaty with those northern hordes of the steppe. Just until I can get my shit together. So that I can just full on fucking smash them. Because they really fucking embarrassed me on that last battle. Last video. Take this subsidy. Our treasuries were over full. Sure, I'll take that. I'm still going to attack you. I don't need my reputation anymore. I'll take all you fuckers on. Mission failed. Oh, whoops. Oh, that could have been really useful. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, get moving up north. Alright, so we still need two more Azats, and then the rest, not Persian Hoplites, where are they? Oh, they fucking... The latest patch changed things. Now I can't fucking get noble spearmen from here. Because there was a patch that came in through this morning, I think. They changed it from level 2 to level 4 to get noble spearmen. Motherfuckers! God damn it, creative assembly. Make up your goddamn mind. When do I get level 4? Oh, fuck's sake. That's ages away. Ah, shit. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Alright, well, whatever. So what do we get in the meantime then? Persian hoplites? No, they're not as good. 
Why don't we just get Cartley X Men? We'll give them a go. Because they're not too bad. They're not, I mean, they're not quite as good, but give it a shot. Who knows? They might actually be better. Although I doubt it. I'll work towards getting those soon. We need to still get this, though. So it's absolutely vital we don't lose any of these guys, because we can't replace them just yet. Uh, what are we doing? We'll trespass on their lands. There's no problem there. Yep, go for it. You got a problem with it? Suck a dick. This army here needs a dignitary. Yeah, I'm going to send them down south. Let's not worry about Dahe just yet, because if I'm going to put these guys at risk, I want them to be. I want this to have been done, dealt with first. Yeah. yeah. You come down here and protect this settlement. This motherfucker's recruiting. If we assassinate him, well, for one thing, the chances are dismal, but it will stop them from recruiting. So it's basically one in three chance. Can't really get angry about that. Shouldn't be expecting success. I mean, I would have liked it, but it just didn't happen. Oh, I should have given him that. That would have really increased his chances. Uh, given it to him last turn, that is. Oh, well. Um, alright. Well, with the advent of not being able to recruit those come, units, come. maybe... Yeah, okay, so we can get a peace treaty with these guys, I and no let's for the meek or demand a, uh, some money out of them. Can we then get a trade agreement? That's weird. We have today. You honor us with these terms. An aggression pact? Shit. They have led us to Loads of money. And you have the heart of a merchant, my friend. A merchant. By all the gods, your word hold is golden truth. I agree with my heart and tongue to all you say. <laughs> Whatever. I'll be cancelling those agreements soon. But I'm not in really in a position to press the attack against you. Okay, now with that, that means we don't necessarily need to go up against them. Now, Cyrusina is also part of Scythia. And my, what, what agreements do we have with Pontus, by any chance? Trade agreement worth a lot of money. What have we... Oh, the Quidri. Holy shit. Oh, wait. Hang on. No, that's that's the remainder of the Quidri. They're dead. Okay, Antony's Rome. We can't trade with be them, welcome. can we? Let us talk, and then enjoy good Roman wine when we have agreement. Alright, so I'm going to cancel this non-aggression pact. Because he won't do shit with me. And we're going to focus on attacking them. So you, instead of... Instead of us going north... Let's progress south. Oh shit! I didn't realize it would be that bad. Hmm, I think I can still get them out of here. All I need to do is recruit another general. It's not really daisy chaining, but. Oh shit, it's not gonna work, is it? Oh shit, what was I thinking? That was actually really dumb put these guys at massive risk. If they disappear, that's going to be annoying. It means I have to re-recruit them, basically. Oh, wait, we still need another one of these. Hopefully we don't lose these either. Oh, god damn it. Let's see. What are we doing? Oh, 
Okay, that dignitary. Let's hire them. These guys will be coming down to our tax the next turn, so that's where you should be. Good. Military administration, minus 4% upkeep. Sounds good. Plus it gets a few traits, thanks to the bonuses in this territory. Yeah, whatever. Thanks to these. I think it's all just thanks to that one, though. Doesn't matter. Okay, and also, once um, that's recruited, we'll need to raise another army. Because I can certainly afford it. Alright, now we're going to spend some money. Um, so we've got marble in the area now. Increase tax rates. Sounds good. Public order in current... Oh, shit. Tax is a big problem. Squalor. How can we improve this? Well, that, for one, will help. Um... Is there instability? There's a little bit, but we're hemorrhaging at a, at a quite a rapid rate. But then again, that's going to increase public order by a lot. So we'll, that'll help as well, so get that. That's reducing public order, but food can be useful. Just leave it for now. Okay, but Pura, fix this shit up. I don't know if that's effective or not. Leave it for now. Yep, fix up the public order, always helps. It's garrison settlement. Public order is important. Need research more over there. Actually, I just realized something. Um, where have I got an edict? Breading Games Edict, where are you? Here. That's tax harvesting. Uh, I kind of need that. Okay, what have we got over here? Tax harvesting. Don't I have another edict that I can issue? No, two out of two. Oh, well. Just thinking that maybe I should use an edict here. But maybe you just leave it. Okay, I'm out of cash. Hang on, these guys haven't moved. Oh, how long have they been sitting there? Fuck, oh, they're still trying to recover. Right. At least with these guys, I only need to replace the Azat Knights, not the Noble Spearmen. I can do that. Alright, you stand right there, and next turn we'll move you on to Capucine. Okay, I'm just going to pause this for a second. I'll be right back, just going to go do something. Alright then, let's continue. What was I doing? Uh, probably about to end the turn, I think. Just cycling through these, everyone seems to have done what they needed to do. Yeah. So it's still, it's kind of annoying. I mean, this is, it does make more sense to put that Noble Spearman in the fourth one. What's annoying is that Creative Assembly, they just keep fucking changing the rules. I don't care what rules they want to put in, but when they keep fucking changing it, it means I always have to keep adjusting and evolving my strategies, which is frustrating to get good at. Because every time I master something, they change it and it no longer becomes valid. I've mastered this game like ten times already now. Anyway gonna master it again and this one it's the hardest of the patches but that's that's a good thing anyway let's move on should I say bring it on completely make it even harder but you know do it a day one sick of having to relearn how to play the game or make it harder without having to change how the game works that'd be good
Yeah, I do intend to destroy Pontus, but since I'm making a lot of money off them, best just leave them for now. Whatever, that doesn't matter. Capture Capucine for... Give me six turns to do it. Okay, well that's fine, considering I'm on my way there. Now Quidry are gone. Pretty sure I got a trade agreement with them. And that's gone. Doesn't matter. Fuck me. Look how many units they can goddamn well recruit. Son of a bitch. Okay, I want you to come in here as well as back up. Capucine's over there. How are we going here? It's not at full strength, but I don't think it needs to be. Uh, before we send you in, let's go have a bit of a scout. There's nothing... Oh, hang on. There is something here, but it's, um... Drangiana. Now, now's the time to try and get as many trade agreements and whatever as possible because I'm about to break a peace treaty that's going to send me straight back to unreliable. Greetings. No, there's nothing else that's going to do anything with me. That's fine. Straight to untrustworthy. I'll take your money and your lives, bitch. Jeez, well, whatever. And this settlement, whoa, um, there's some good stuff here. Definitely do not want to raise it if we, no, don't lose it either. So this providing, no, I don't like that one so much. I mean, it's, I can see its use, but we've already got this now. That's really good. Um, I'd rather trading post tra uh, chain so we can get artillery from these kind of settlements or uh, ship artillery all we need to do is assassinate this motherfucker and that's the end of Durangiana no recovery but I don't think they need it I don't think there's any point in recruiting more units there. Oh good, they didn't they didn't take any attrition. I don't think. Uh force march your way down to our taxa. I don't know, maybe we should take on Pontus. Okay, hand the troops over. Okay, so a couple of turns after the disaster that was this battle, these guys are now a full stack again. However, we've got Cartley Axemen instead of Noble Spearmen. Now, looking at the differences between them, it it's hard to see major differences. I mean, I can definitely see an advantage of having Noble Noble Spearmen, but... Yeah, we'll just work towards getting them back, because they'll be good against cavalry. Um, and these guys aren't necessarily good against anything, because they don't have any bonuses. Wait, hang on, let me just check, see. 14100... 2... Yeah, fair amount of income. Returned. And you, you're going to keep recruiting. We're not done with these armies. Four is not enough, we need more. Especially if we're going up against Mark Antony. What else do we want to recruit? Persian Hoplites, I don't think are going to cut it. So we'll have a Cartley Axeman Legion, I suppose. On the plus side, they'll be a slightly amount cheaper. If I was to upgrade this... Yeah, it's just Noble Spearmen and Elite Persian Archers. Sounds good, I guess. Also, these guys should come into this territory here, just to get the upgrades. Once we're done with this, there's a... I do want to be aiming for, th for this. There's some good upgrades along the way as well. Yep, yeah, whatever. How may I serve you? An endless and all men must serve. Mm. 
try and sabotage them. Jeez, your chances are much better now. Just did that more for his experience than anything else. Giving him a rank up. I think I'll also train a champion here for public order reasons. Definitely want public order to be sorted. So what other upgrades are coming with this? Four cultural conversion, that's awesome. That'll be especially useful against the Romans. Yeah, sounds good. Alright, now for buildings and shit. Let's province manage. So we've got 14,000 coming in each turn at the moment. Public order here is fine. We don't need to worry about building this up. It's expensive. Extra wealth from entertainment. That's also pretty good. That's fairly cheap. Actually, the public order here is... Oh, that's because I just bloody conquered that. Yeah, that's fine. Um, don't build that just yet. Okay, I'm going to go with Royal Large City because it has more money involved with it. Good, that fixes that territory up by a lot. Now this, I'll be destroying this. Don't have much cash left. How's the settlement going? Yeah, whatever. Can't convert it. Okay, everything seems alright. How are we going politically? 67% influence. Let's move on to the next turn. <laughs> Nothing of any real consequence happened. Uh, strengthening the waters. Research. research um, sounds good. Next turn, that's done. That's also useful as well. And I had a look on the um, building chart. Um, that has no penalties, that building. The Danganesh, or whatever the fuck it's called. Now you chase after that prick down here and assassinate him. Because I think he's, I think he's going around hiring mercenaries. Yeah, what a bastard. Okay, you've got a decent chance of success. Do not fail me. Good. That's the end of them, I think. Yep, disappears. Excellent. Now for these motherfuckers. Yep, this is nothing. We finally got Capucine. Fucking under... Th under... Uh, what's it called? Under my jackboot. Uh, yeah, keep that. 
He's rank 9, holy shit. So this provides extra morale, that's fine. And a bit of extra treasury. Really, the, the settlement is its own reward. Okay, so they've just got two left now. And I think I'll end the video here, so I'll take that down on the next video. Situation's looking pretty good. I mean, there's always ups and downs, there's bumps along the road, but we're getting there. No civil war chance just yet. Which is good, I suppose. This guy's really fucking old. Really old. Now, based on the, t uh, the age, or the year, I'm pretty sure the war between Mark Antony and um, Octavian was over by now. And by this year here, Antony is bound to be actually quite old. Anyway, that's the end of this video, so like and subscribe, part 19, I think, is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.